kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel from this video we will be starting a new subject that is artificial intelligence and whatever the videos i am making it is based upon the nep scheme so in that we have first unit that is azure ai fundamentals so in this particular chapter today we will be looking into the introduction part of it now what is this artificial intelligence so this artificial intelligence now suppose you think that you are driving a car suppose in the latest cars if you observe if your car goes near to the some other car it gives a signal for you that the car may touch the opposite car ಈಗ ನೀವು ಕಾರ್ ಓಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀರ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಸೆನ್ಸರ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ ಕಾರು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಾರ್ಗೆ ಇನ್ನೇನು ಗುದ್ದಿಯೋ ಅಷ್ಟು ಹತ್ರ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಅದೊಂದು ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟೆಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ಆ್ಯಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಆರ್ ಎನಿ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಾ sometimes you will get an automatic reply for your message like in the service operators and all if you see when you type some query or feedback automatically you are getting the reply that is also an artificial intelligence then what exactly is this artificial intelligence it is a creation of software means artificial intelligence is a process of creation of software what kind of software a software that imitates human behaviors and capabilities so we require a software so the software imitates the human behavior and capabilities it acts similarly to the human behavior to the humans so creation of such a software is known as artificial intelligence artificial intelligence andre yenu manushru madokantaha ondu kelasagalna karyagalanna imitate maadi ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಮಾಡುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ರೀತಿಯ ಒಂದು ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ನ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನೇ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಮಷೀನ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅನಾಮಲಿ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ವಿಷನ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೈ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಜಸ್ಟ್ and in the future videos we'll be studying in depth about these so what is machine learning this machine learning is a foundation of ai system so here machine has to learn the human behaviors this is a basic foundation this is a basic of the artificial intelligence system machine learning annodu artificial intelligence system in on the foundation at the basic in this machine learning we teach a computer model okay we are teaching means the software developers are teaching the computer model to make predictions so to prediction means what guessing so illi one computer model ge nav enanna teach maartta idivi to make predictions one the guess ga andaaju predictions galna maadodu and draw conclusions from data so for example i have given a data of 50 students and the marks scored by each and every students so the computer should make predictions and based on the marks i have pro provided it should draw me a conclusion whether all students have passed or how many students have passed what is the pass percentage what is the average marks of the class so the computer model needs to draw me the conclusions means it should give me a report so ನಾವು ಒಂದು ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಗೆ ಪ್ರೆಡಿಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ನ ಮಾಡಿ ಮತ್ತು ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಹೇಳಿಕೆಗಳನ್ನ ಕೊಡಬೇಕದು ನನಗೆ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಡೇಟಾ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಮಾಡಿರೋ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ನ ಎಂಟ್ರಿ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ನಮಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಪಾಸ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಫೇಲ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಓಟ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿನ ಪಾಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟೇಜ್ ಏನು ಆವರೇಜ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟಾಗಿದೆ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ಡೇಟಾಗಳನ್ನ ಅದು ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕ್ ಆಗಿ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಷೀನ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನಾಮಲಿ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನಾಮಲಿ ಡಿಟೆಕ್
it is a capability capability of detecting automatic errors so what is this automatic errors it is nothing but the unusual activity in the system for example you are driving a car okay and suddenly the engine gets heated up so the engine of the car will get heated up so the artificial intelligence should work immediately and it should give signal to its driver that the engine is getting heated up the car needs some rest so means when something unusual activity is going on in the engine of the car so this unusual activity the intimation should be given to the driver so how it is possible it is possible through anomaly detection because it is a capability of detecting automatic errors so anomaly detection will detect the error in the engine and it will give a message to the driver of the car that there is a problem in the engine by chance ivaga navu car anna odistta idivi anta helidre engine bega jaasti heat aagi hogibidutte anta ankoli aga car nu nange en gottagutte driver ige enu gottagala odistiruvange iga ee rithiya ondu anomaly detection anna use madadaga enagutte ಆ ಇಂಜಿನ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ ಡ್ರೈವರಿಗೆ ತಲುಪುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ತಲುಪೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯ ಆಗ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಅನಾಮಲಿ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ನ ಇಟ್ಟಿರ್ಬೇಕು ದಿಸ್ ಅನಾಮಲಿ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಈ ರೀತಿಯ ಎರರ್ಗಳು ಸಾಧ ಅಸಾಧಾರಣವಾಗಿ ನಡೆಯುವಂತಹದ್ದು ಯೂಶಲಿ ಆಗಲ್ಲ ಬಟ್ ಅನ್ಯೂಶಲ್ ಎರರ್ಸ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಒಂದೊಂದ್ ಸತಿ ಗೊತ್ತಿಲ್ದಲೆ ಹೇಳ್ದೆ ಕೇಳ್ದೆ ಅದು ಆದಾಗ ಆ ರೀತಿಯ ಒಂದು ಎರರ್ಗಳನ್ನ ಡ್ರೈವರಿಗೆ ತಿಳಿಸೋದೆ ಅನಾಮಲಿ ಡಿಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ next is computer vision what is this computer vision vision means what to, it is used to see the world correct na we use our vision to see the world similarly computer don't have any eyes but using computer vision it is a capability of the software to interpret the world visually using this computer vision the computer can interpret the world visual means it will be able to see what's happening around it through cameras video and images through the use of cameras and whatever the videos we have taken shooted and images we have clicked using that the computer will have the capability to see the world visually vision andre enu nan ivaga nodbeku yarnaru andre kannugalu important aa kannu kuda ondu reetiya vision so ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಈ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಇಂದ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕ್ಯಾಮ್ರಾಗಳನ್ನ ಬಳಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅಥವಾ ವಿಡಿಯೋಗಳು ಫೋಟೋಗಳನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಬಳಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಜಗತ್ತನ್ನ ನೋಡಬಹುದು ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ವಿಷನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಕೇಪಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ to interpret written or spoken language so when i am uploading some writings scriptures or when i am speaking something the computer should be able to understand what i have spoken and it should be able to give me a reply for that for example now some devices have come in the market where when we speak it you know it will give a when we speak to it it will give a reply to us so this is possible through natural language processing yen idu natural language processing andre naavu computer ge enaru adakke bardaga athwa adrondige enara maatadadaga adu namge vapas reply maduvanta ondu capacity adakke irbeku ee ondu capability yavaga barutte natural language processing na mulaka idu barutte and respond in kind kind means what in a soft way it should respond in a soft way it should not shout on us it should respond in a kind way adu olle reethiyalli namge respond maadbeku kirich paathu one the soft corner mulaka adu namge respond maadbeku next is knowledge mining mining means what digging mining is digging knowledge mining means digging the knowledge means extracting more knowledge so it is the capability of a computer to extract information to extract extract the information from the given data next see from large volumes of data we will give so these large volumes of data are usually unstructured data 
So using this unstructured data, the computer should make it in such a way that it is a searchable knowledge store. Now, by chance, I will bring all from 1st standard to 10th standard textbooks and dump in a room. And I will ask you to search 3rd standard textbook. So it will be very difficult for you to search. So this is unstructured. Everything is there at one place. So what is this knowledge mining does? It will extract the information. It will structure it in such a way that whenever I go and I want something, I can get it easily. It is structured. So this is all about knowledge mining. This is unstructured data. All data is one this computer is separate. Separate one on the features. Aya on the features. Nadara the mele. The separate madi. Now Yargaro information beko on daga. Ado easily siguanta on the DTL. Aduna segregate madi de beko. This is possible through knowledge mining. Hope you have understood the video very well. In our next video, I'll come back with machine learning. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.